Hey everybody, how you doing? I want to make a quick video, or try to, uh, showing how do I use the MP5 program equalizer from Kawasa. I think I'm saying that right, Kawasa. So uh, what I'm going to do is show you a couple key things about this uh, EQ device. What it does is it can make the bass richer, more focused, but not more muddy, and the high end a little more sparkly and clear. You can also clean up your mid-range, which I think is the main magic of these devices. <clears throat> I'll show you a couple target ranges to use this thing for and just go from there. I'm just going to use this like I normally use it and let's play the audio for a second and show you where it's at. once is good on that turnaround so 30 or 60 here's our low range is a great place to start I start with 30 I'm gonna boost this attenuate it and focus it check it out you'll see me go extreme with the controls just to show you what they do check it out See, the attenuator can make it quiet, but it doesn't quite just turn it down. It just kind of tames it and focuses it. But at the extreme end, you don't use it all the way. Check this out. 12 is a great place to start for the hi-hats. Watch them come alive as I bring this up, and I'll attenuate it and focus it, too. 10 or 5 is usually your friend here. squashes it, we want to bring it back a bit. Now the high end, it's a lot more present. Now we'll work on the, start to work on the mid-range. A couple of these, 300 is a great place to start. This is your low mid-range, the body of the song. This is your high mid-range, kind of where the snare crack lives. It's not quite treble, not quite mid-range, not quite bass, not quite mid-range. This is the mid-dip. This is where a lot of the magic happens. 700 is a great place to start for this section right here. Let me push this to the extreme so you can hear the low body. That's what that guy is. Let's check out the high mid range so you can hear where that's at. See, too much of that is nasalville. A good boost right up about there gets things a little clearer. Some of these changes are small yet cumulative, and you'll see once we bypass this in just a second. Let's give it just a little body here. bodies more so let's dip out the mid-range and it'll sound really good we'll probably dip this and then give it just a little more treble boost to make up for it and a little high mids too now you can really hear those hand claps. It's a little 
too bright though. Let's check that bypass and see what we were listening to before. This is what we started with. Let's see where we're at. Now before I even bypass it, it should sound like a pretty hollow mid-range train wreck. Just one second. Yeah, it started off, it sounded pretty good. Let's well, check this out. Let's find a little bit busier part of the song. So I hope you can still hear me when the music's going. This is, like I said, my first video uh, with this setup. Um, I'm still working out the bugs. Hope you guys uh, can see how quickly this will take you. Wow. To a much more polished sound. Uh, focused lows, crispier highs, but not treble. Um, and a mid dip that's to die for. It's a great device. Um, I have to look further into the saturation section, make sure it's not just a minimal volume boost. I doubt it is, but you never know. Um, yeah, get this one. It's a great alternative to the uh, tube tech. Wow. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope it was helpful.